Let's balance the net ionic equation for CaHCO32 plus HCl. This is calcium bicarbonate, sometimes called calcium hydrogen carbonate, and then we have hydrochloric acid here. The first thing we do when we balance net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I've already done that for you. If you need help, there's a link at the end of this video on how to balance this equation. Once the equation is balanced, we can write the state for each substance. That looks like this. Compounds with the bicarbonate ion in general are soluble. Compounds with the chloride ion, they're soluble. We have carbon dioxide, gas, and then water, that's a liquid. These are the states. Now we split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. We're not going to split gases or liquids, though, apart. We'll keep these together. So that's going to look like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So the reactants up top, I have the calcium ion, and in the products, that's a spectator ion. Cross that out, two chloride ions in the reactants, and again in the products, spectator ions, we cross them out. But what's left, that's the net ionic equation for CaHCO32 plus HCl. Let me clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for calcium bicarbonate plus hydrochloric acid. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. 2 times 1 plus is 2 plus. So the 2 minus, 2 plus, they give us a net charge of 0. Over here, these are neutral, net charge of 0. Charge is conserved, and if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for calcium bicarbonate and hydrochloric acid. Thanks for watching.